Hey YouTube, it's Zen Maiden. Melody, how are you guys? I'm just coming to make a response video to Rob's video about um, the issues that he wanted to talk about and that he did talk about yesterday. Um, basically about, you know, how how there's not a race, etc. to the goal. And, and I don't really specifically want to address the race part so much as uh, an area that I talk about a lot on my channel. Um, which is the core, um, the core issues behind the reasons that we got heavy, fat, whatever you want to say, um, to begin with. And knowing that when we do reach that number on the scale or that size, whatever it is that we decide that is our criteria for hitting the final, you know, line, we have to remember that, that once we get there, nothing has changed, that this mindset, the stuff in our mind that was there before is still there. All the things that made us heavy and fat, the negative self-talk, the um, negative self-image, the uh, things that we experience and or imagine that caused us to get that way, whether it be uh, most likely emotional, right? Um, things, those haven't changed. Those haven't changed, guys. And that's what I'm really concerned about for, um, for everyone who doesn't do a self-examination is that, and work, is that not only do you have to change your relationship with food, with, which Rob so eloquently puts, you know, in many different ways with lots of fun anecdotes, but I'm more serious when it comes to this because it's something that's so near and dear to my heart that I, um, I'm just uh, knowing that this is such a hard thing to make those changes. It's not just snap, you know, and it's done. No, it, is, it ain't happening like that, folks. And, you know, it's happened to me before, like even when I had, like when I was younger and I would like, like snap my fingers and lose 20 pounds. Remember those days, guys? I would snap my fingers in like two weeks, lose 20 pounds, and I'd be like, damn, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like myself any better. Ha, 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 okay now, now we're talking. So when we get there, quiet low, when we get there, and we don't like ourselves any better, other than maybe, oh yeah, we look better in those slacks, you know, or something. If we don't like ourselves any better, then you know what's going to happen? The same old shit is going to start all over again. So this is where we really have to work here, guys, getting our brain wrapped around the fact that we are no longer going to use those same excuses. We are no longer going to use those same reasons. And whatever those things are that that we tell ourselves that are negative, those have to go. Those have to go. It's got to be a new day. You've got to make it a new day, guys. I'm serious. Um, and I don't know how easy that's going to be. I really don't. But you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I am, because I have nothing to lose. This is my last time doing this. And I mean last. Last, last, last. The clock tick-tock is ticking on every one of us. Nobody knows how many years we're left here. You know? So, meanwhile, right? We might as well maximize our good times. <coughs> maximize our years that we're able and fit to do the things that we'd like to do and go to places that we want to go and do all those things on our bucket list, you know, before it's too late. But if you don't like yourself once you get to go, what good is it? I mean, you're going to always find a reason not to like yourself. Is it too much skin, too much, oh, I don't look any better now that I'm thin, you know, I might be thin, but I don't look as good as I thought I was going to look. So these things, guys, we really have to think about out loud. We really need to talk about them with one another and with our significant family members or whoever's significant in our journey. Um, some of us may not have supportive family, so we have others that we talk to. Or we might not have a family that wants to hear about weight loss all the time. You know, hey, why not? What's wrong with that? But um, you know what I'm saying. So that negative stuff has to go and it has to go starting today you have to each day get up and get rid of something 
Take a little piece of junk out of your trunk and throw it away every day. And maybe by the time you get there, you'll like yourself a whole lot more. I want to hear what you think. I hope you guys will continue to um, watch the channel. Rob does a great job. And love you all.